Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope that you are doing well. We have another different kind of video today, which I rarely do because I'm definitely like a jeans and t-shirt kind of person and I don't claim to have any sort of fashion sense, but it is September and that means that fall is kind of here. So with that, fall is my favorite season because it's kind of the start to, dare I say, the holiday season and going into cool months which I just thrive in because I'm just living that like comfy cozy lifestyle all year round and when it's really nice weather outside it's hard to persuade others to stay inside with me so fall is really like where I start to thrive and where I do my best work so today I thought I would share a couple of pieces that I have in my closet that feel more autumnal to me and kind of like help transition my summer clothes into fall clothes into winter clothes just by adding layers <laughs> so today's video is brought to you by layers because they are wonderful and you can add them and subtract them and as the weather gets warmer and cooler throughout these next few months you can adjust accordingly. I have like a floating knee just going back and forth so sorry if that's very distracting but I'm like all cozy and curled up on one of our fluffy chairs. Starting with outer layers, so things that I use that aren't too heavy because the weather in California is not super cold. In fact, it doesn't ever really get super cold where I am, but it is a little chilly. There's definitely some more wind in the air and leaving the house in a coat becomes essential. So I have like a favorite winter coat, but we can get into that later. My favorite like more lightweight transition coats are the following. First one that I have here, is from a brand called Cezanne, which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. They opened up a pop-up in San Francisco a year ago, maybe? And I actually got this coat then, and now they have a permanent store, which is very dangerous. I haven't been in a while, but this is definitely making me want to go. I got this trench coat, which was a bit of a riskier purchase for me because I was like, will I be someone who actually wears a trench coat? But this is a really beautiful khaki color and I feel like it's just such a classic thing to have in your collection. And it's really nice for these kind of transition seasons where you need that extra layer, but you want something that's comfortable and breathable because there still is sunshine and it's not super cold outside. So this is actually a great fall and spring piece. There's sort of this easy structured way about it. There's really crisp lines and seams and so it adds this nice elegance but then it also feels really weightless and comfortable to throw on. Cezanne is a French brand and so very much in the French way it's like effortless elegance. So I've really been enjoying this and it's a nice piece to just have. Next up, I'm so happy these are back in style. <laughs> Just like turtlenecks. I love turtlenecks and when they came back in style I was so thrilled because I finally felt validated that I could wear them and no one would make fun of me. But blazers are another one of those items. I have this one that I actually got a long time ago now. Four or five years ago from Everlane. It was a Christmas present and I really love this one. I don't know if they still make it or not. It is a little bit oversized. I have it in a zero here but it still feels a little bit big which makes it nice for layering and and then also I just like that aesthetic for me comfier and I like the way that it looks. I feel like they balance the oversized aspect of it well because there's a little bit of padding in the shoulder so you get a tiny bit of structure so it doesn't just kind of hang on you and feel like you're kind of drowning in fabric. It still sits really nicely. This one's a great weight too because in the fall I often don't need like any additional layers over the top of this so it's warm enough for me to wear as a real jacket. I really like pairing it with just like jeans and a white t-shirt. That is my uniform of choice and this just adds a little something extra to it. I do have my eye on another blazer that's sort of a similar pattern but a brown warm brown tones. I I really love this but the gray is a little bit wintry for me so I thought that the brown might be like nice for fall. I have a couple of things from Everlane and I've like continually been impressed with the stuff that I do have. It's like a pretty good mid-tier pricing and the quality of stuff is really 
nice. Could launch into a whole saga about the next item, which is a sweater. I could talk about all the sweaters that I absolutely love because they have a zillion sweaters and I wear them all the time. As soon as the weather starts getting cold, it's like my whole wardrobe becomes sweaters. I had those two free people turtleneck sweaters that I finally got rid of because they were so old and raggedy and discolored and I wore them to death to the point where it was like I was getting feedback that I needed to say goodbye to them. And so I let those go, but now I'm like very nervous to go into a winter season without them. So I'm going to see if they bring back that style this year and I might get a fresh one for myself. But I do have a whole drawer of other beautiful sweaters that will get lots of use. And as soon as weather gets cold, that is all I will wear. And I just thought that this one was so great. This is actually a hand-me-down from my mom. And it's going to be hard to show you because there's going to be like so much contrast, but it's a short sleeve cashmere sweater. This is just from Bloomingdale's from early 2000s. It served my mom really well. And then she was cleaning out her closet and she she gave it to me years and years ago and it has served me so well. Quality has just been really great. It has this like beautiful ribbing detail around the collar that I really like. Uh, armholes and then around the waistband as well. So there's like a little flair to it but it's really just a plain black sweater and what I love about this is again it's one of those great layering pieces where it helps to transition those warmer month clothing items into something you can wear in fall. So for me, I really love layering this over summer dresses because it turns the summer dress into a skirt and then I have this like cute, warm, cozy sweater on top. And if I put on tights as well, then that's even warmer. So I kind of use this, like I said, as a good transition piece. I can wear it with like a long sleeve shirt underneath it. I can wear it on its own with just some pants. I can wear it again over a dress. So it's just been great to have. All right, the last couple of items that I wanted to talk about today are two shoe purchases. One that I made recently that I knew would like bring me into fall and then one that I made last year, the year before that, I don't remember. But they're two like very classic shoes that I feel like are great for going into fall. I'm a big loafer fan so I often wear loafers so these two shoes that if I'm not wearing loafers, I'll be wearing these. So let me grab them and show you. First pair is One Stone Boots. These are super durable, very comfortable. As soon as leaves start falling and I can't wear loafers anymore because I need some more grip on the bottom of my shoe, these are like all I wear. I feel like for me, they go with everything. They're comfortable to walk long distances in. They have a rubber sole, which makes them really durable and you get some like grip when you're walking on slippery surfaces. I think they're cute to pair with jeans. I think they're cute to pair with a dress, a skirt. I often wear them with tights. They're just like a good all around utility boot, but they still look really cute on. So if you ever run into me, you will nine times out of 10 see me wearing these. And if you don't see me wearing these that I'm hoping to utilize this other pair that I just purchased a couple months ago and have been enjoying over the summer but I'm also planning to enjoy going into the fall and that is these Vejas sneakers. I really like the style of them. They have kind of this vintage flair to them and a little bit of a platform so they make like pants and stuff look a little bit nicer. They are delicate because of the color so I don't know how well they're gonna hold up during the fall but you can just get one of those Mr. Clean Magic Erasers and you can do wonders with white sneakers. The actual tread is a kind of like off-white color, so that's fine. It's like this delicate taupe kind of suede that I wonder how it's gonna work out. But I think they're super cute. Again, a really comfortable utility shoe that's great for walking long distances and looks cute with stuff. So yeah, I've really been enjoying these. Actually would love to get another pair of Vejas, maybe in a different style and maybe in a more durable color. All right, what did you think? That was my first stab at showing some of the clothing pieces I have in my closet. Was it perfect? Probably not, but we tried it. Let me know what you think about videos like this. I hope this was helpful if you wanted to just get some like inspiration on what other people wear. Again, by no means do I know what I'm doing fashion wise, but I thought that these are really nice classic pieces that a lot of people could enjoy so I thought I would share. I know a lot of them are older pieces and so 
I'm not gonna be able to link them down below. They might not even <laughs> make them anymore, especially that like early 2000s sweater. But certainly you can draw inspiration from it and kind of find pieces that are similar if it interests you. And hopefully this inspires you to go into your closet and figure out some like good transition pieces uh, without needing to go and buy a whole bunch of new stuff. All right, with that, I will sign off. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.